Hello people, this is Aryan from CodeGrind and in today's video we'll, we are going to create the second part of our JavaScript image modal which is the most uh, viewed video of our channel and it has already crossed 500 views. So in the previous video we had this image modal. If you haven't watched it already then go watch it because I'm going to add some more uh, very interesting features to this modal. In the previous one we just had this image the text and the close button but in this one we have got the previous and the next navigations we have got the arrow key navigation and we have also got one amazing feature that when you press the escape key the modal closes so this was actually requested to me by balachandran who commented down in the previous video i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing the name wrong so he actually wanted me to add two features the previous and the next uh, buttons and the arrow key navigation but i have also included one feature of my own and provided it with the escape key so if you haven't watched that video already then you won't understand any of the content which i'm going to tell you about in this video so go watch that one now i'll give a link in the description you can also click on the link above now let's get started with uh, this image modal where we are going to add some very interesting features so let's get straight into it so this is actually the image modal which we created in the previous video and as i click on it we get the image the text and just the close button and it happens the same for every image so now the first feature which we are going to add to this image modal is to have the previous and the next buttons and let's see how we can make them functioning so first of all let's get into the html part okay so over here we'll have a div with a class of modal nav in here we'll have our first button let's give it a type of button a class of previous button and the text of previous will same we'll have for the next button a class of next button and a type of button as well and then the text of next okay hit save now when i click on image we get this previous and the next buttons i've already provided them a bit of styling it's just some basic styling now they obviously aren't functioning because we haven't provided any javascript yet so now let's jump straight to the javascript part so this is actually the javascript from the previous video you can you should go watch that video first before you watch this one because you won't understand a thing so first of all let's select the uh, both the buttons so pre button document dot query selector obviously with the class of pre button and then we'll select our next button so for that the same document dot query selector dot next button okay so we have selected both of our buttons now the next thing which you need to do is get the index of this images so what happens is in this for each loop if we select this image we will get the index 0 because it is at the first position so its index will be 0 for this uh, the second image the index will be 1 so to get this in image uh, the index of the image we have this uh, second parameter uh, which is called the index you can name it anything you want I have named it index because it is what we are using it for okay the, now the next thing uh, we need to define three different variables so the first variable will point to the current image which has been clicked on which is currently open then we'll have the next variable which will point to the next image and then we'll have a pre variable which will point to the previous image so we'll have okay let's use let because we will be changing these variables so image index it will point to the current image will uh, which has this index of this index variable then we'll have next uh, which will be previous uh, not sorry not previous image index minus minus oh sorry this shouldn't be image minus minus it should be plus plus then we'll have our prev which will be image index minus minus so this will point to the current image this will point to the next image and this will point to the previous image now let's just focus on the uh, left and right arrow keys right now the left one for the previous and the right one for the next and we will define the previous and the next uh, buttons uh, later on so for that we'll have the window dot add event listener so we will pass the event as key up so whenever a key is pressed we will pass the event and run an arrow function you can obviously uh, run a normal function as well but i'm working in es6 so i'm using the arrow functions 
now over here each key in our keyboard has a different and unique key code uh, you can learn about key codes from the website keycode.info over there you can get the key code of any desired key i'll give a link in the description of that website so now for the left arrow key we have the key code as 37 so if key e dot key code is equal to equal to 37 then what we need to do is we need to change the modal image dot src and the modal text dot inner html so let's just copy that paste it over here now we need to change that to the previous image so in if you remember in this images array we have all the images stored so over here we have all these five images so the first image has the index of 0 1 2 3 and 4 because that's how indexes works they start from 0 so over here we will use that images and pass the index as previous because we have pressed the left arrow key and same for the alt hit save and now uh, let's define the code for a uh, right arrow key now else if e dot key code is equal to 39 so 39 is the key code for the right arrow key over here we'll just copy this and paste it over here and uh, pass the index as the next variable and at the last what we need to do is uh, as i mentioned i am providing you with an uh, additional feature which is pre on the uh, pressing event of the escape key the modal should close so else if e dot key code is equals to equals to equals to 27 which is the key code for the escape key uh, the modal should just close so over here in the close dot add event listener we have this code written for closing the modal so i'll simply copy this and paste it over here so we have got this code ready but it won't function function as uh, desired and the reason behind that uh, we can find it right now so on the pressing of right key so i'm currently pressing the right key but nothing's happening but as soon as i press the left key the image change change to the next one so it's not functioning as we desired it to function and the reason behind that is after each image is changed like after the image is changed over here we need to change the next and the previous uh, variables as well and the reason behind that is uh, let me tell you uh, about it through a small animation so now uh, let's say if we are uh, we clicked on this image so what will happen is the previous uh, in variable will point to this image and the next uh, variable will point to this image and the image index will have this one as the image index so now the previous is pointing to this image and the next variable is pointing to this image but when i press the left arrow key then all of these values should change when i press the left arrow key now the current image becomes this one so we also need to change the previous variable to this image so what we need to do is earlier it was pointing to this image but now we need to decrement it by one so that it points to this one so on the pressing event of the left arrow key we need to decrement previous by one and on the next one uh, the next variable should uh, point to this image so what we need to do is it is previous plus one plus two so previous plus two so the next one should point to the previous plus two and similarly let's say if we have this as the current image now the previous one is this and the next one is this and when i press the right arrow key then the current image becomes this one so the next should increment by one now because the next should now point to this one earlier it was pointing to this one so the next should be incremented by one so next plus plus and now the previous should point to this one and so it will it should be previous is equal to next minus two so this is how the uh, two variables should change on pressing the left arrow key the previous should decrement by one and the next should become previous plus two and on clicking of the right arrow key we need to change the uh, next variable and, and increment it by one and uh, change the previous to next minus two so this is how the variables should be changed so now what we need to do is uh, decrement this previous by one and change the next to previous plus two and similarly over here increment the next by one and change the previous to next minus two hit save now when we go to the modal over here and when i press the right arrow key it changes to the next image and on the pressing event of the left arrow key it changes uh, back to the previous image so this is how we can work with arrow keys and now when i press the escape key the modal closes so i hope you got the concept and got that small animation which i told you about why we are changing these variables to these particular values 
Now, what if uh, you want to make it a loop so that when I reach to the end of the gallery, it changes back to the first image. So for that, what you need to do is over here, you need to check the values of the next and the previous uh, variables. So if next reaches to the end, so if it becomes greater than the length of this images uh, array, then what you need to do is simply change uh, the next variable to zero. So now when it reaches to the end, the now the next will point to the zero. So if it reaches to the end, it will change to the first image. Let's see if it's working or not. Now I press the right key, it reaches to the end. And when I press the right key again, it goes back to the first image. And similarly, if you want it for the previous one, so if previous is less than zero, so if it points to the left of the first image uh, where there is nothing, then it should change to images dot length. Now this images dot length will return five, but five is an invalid index. So ov obviously we have to minus one. Now let's see if it's working or not. Okay, for the right key, it's working properly. When I press the left key, it reaches to the first image. And when I press it again, it goes back to the last image. Now this part is completely optional. It depends on whether you want to create a looping modal or not. So this was it for the arrow keys. Now let's move to the pressing event of the previous and the next buttons. So for that, we just need to copy the code. It's nothing. It's very simple. So pre dot add event listener click. If the pre button is clicked, we just need to copy this code for the previous one over here. And for the next, next button dot add event listener click. Let's see. And we just need to copy this code now. So now when I open the modal, I click on next, it works and previous it works. Now this is a perfect modal. We have the previous and the next navigations. We have the arrow keys navigation. We have the escape key quitting option and the cross button over here. So I guess this was it for the image modals, the two parts, the first part uh, where, which I, where I created just this opening and the closing functionalities. Now in the next part, I've added the navigation options and the escape key option. Now, if you still have any queries, then you can go visit the codepen.io where you can find the source code and also comment down any queries down below in the comments box. And I will definitely answer every one of them. If you like the video, then don't forget to subscribe and share and like this video. And thank you for watching.